Hi, Nico from VoiceWalk here. In this video, we will see how we can use uh, Presidio uh, from Microsoft. So this is a project uh, that will allow you to anonymize um, any data you pass to the API we've made uh, from your VoiceWall assistant. The main goal here is you might have to deal with user data um, and you don't want those data to be shared um, or saved in your database, for example, uh, without being anonymized uh, first. So this is exactly what this project uh, is meant for. I've tried to simplify as much as possible. So the way Presidio works is you have to first analyze the, the text you send to the analyze um, model. And then you have to, from the, that response, you will have to basically uh, anonymize this. So th this is a, a two-pass kind of operation. Uh, if we go to the documentation here, so this is the, uh, the GitHub where you have uh, all information regarding uh, Presidio. And as you can see, they have an analyzer, an anonymizer, and uh, image redactor. We are going to use the analyzer and anonymizer. And the way this is working is the first pass will try to find and extract the entity you want to flag. So entities are, uh, if you can see here, you have credit card, crypto, that uh, date and time, email, email address, uh, IBAN, IP, location person, all those um, information can be redacted or uh, anonymized. And you also have, uh, operators, so how you want this to be handled. Uh, you can replace, you can redact, you can ash, mask, encrypt. Um, in our demo, we are going to replace, or um, uh, I think, yeah, I think we use only replace, but you can also choose to keep um, specific information, for example, URL. You don't want to anonymize URL, you can choose to keep those. Um, and another thing is, you, as you can encrypt, you can also decrypt. So another way you might want to use it is encrypting the information, saving to your database, and then ultimately decrypt that information whenever you need. Uh, and if you have the, uh, um, I mean, if you are allowed to do this, if that makes sense. Okay, so with this in mind, let's dive in this project. So what I've done here is uh, we we are going to use an app. I'm I'm testing Bun by the way for uh, just for for your information here, um, and we are only using this app.js file. We'll take care of creating the endpoint. Uh, we are using Hono for the uh, all the uh, um, server part of it, and we have uh, the anonymized endpoint. So the anonymize will basically do uh, all the work. So we are going to make the two paths. Uh, we are going to analyze and then anonymize to ultimately return a response with the anonymized text. What we are allowing here is to pass some param uh, in the request. Um, obviously, we need the text we want to uh, anonymize. Uh, we want some anonymizer. This is not mandatory. Uh, you can use default. Uh, we also, you can pass a score and exclude some word. So I will explain that in a bit. Uh, and so again, what we are doing here is from what we got from the body, we are going to analyze the text and then anonymize. So the analyze function is basically just uh, handling that part while the uh, anonymize will return the uh, the response to our request so so, so to the request we we made um, we have some so the the readme has all the information you need uh, this is available on our main repo and as you can see the simplest request can be just the text uh, and the, res the the response will will look like this so by default if you don't pass any uh, uh, anonymizer um, then that will be the default. So this is 
uh, this is a person entity, this is a phone number, so this is why uh, this is uh, uh, replaced like this in the response. But you can also choose to set some params. So the score, the score is whenever you are uh, analyzing the text, the first pass will return a score. And so for example, if the operation tend to anonymize a bit too much, you can tweak the score or lower the score a bit. So for example, here, um, if I set a score to dot 99, most likely nothing will be uh, anonymized. And if I lower that, you are pretty sure that every entity will be uh, anonymized. So sometimes you have just to balance that a bit because some uh, some word will be detected as a name, for example, or a person when, when they shouldn't. So that's that's why I've added the, the score param to this. And the exclude is all the word you, you want to exclude or um, you don't want those words to be anonymized. So for example, voice flow can be uh, uh, considered as a name or max, for example. We are using JavaScript code, max, can be used for a uh, math operation, but it's also uh, can be also a, a name or a person. But we don't want that to be an anonymized. So I'm adding this to the uh, exclude array. Um, and I'm passing some anonymizer. So this is how I want phone number to be anonymized. So in that case, I want this to be a mask. I'm using the asterisk to mask this, and I'm uh, masking eight characters from the beginning. So from n is set to false. So basically, we are going to uh, mask that part. Uh, email address, same thing here. IP, that's a mask as well, but we are going to mask everything. Date and time, date and time we choose to keep this. Same for the URL. We don't want to hide or anonymize that. Uh, location, we are going to replace this with location. And default, so everything else that is not part of those anonymizer settings will be replaced with the word anonymizer. And here's the response. Um, regarding the, uh, the setup, I'm using a dot m. So if you go to the code here, the, F tom the dot m template uh, most likely what is important for you is the port. So this is the main endpoint. Analyzed endpoints. This is the default one we are going to use uh, in our container. So you don't, most likely you don't want to change that. You might have to change this only if you are debugging and using like a, a local app. Um, but otherwise this should be set to those value by default. And you can also pass a default score, meaning that if when you make a request, you don't pass the score, we are going to use this as the default value. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, let's, you know, let's, let's give it a try. So um, as I was saying, we are basically um, handling this with Docker. So it's more simple. We have one comment to set up that um, all, all this. So for this to work, we are going to create an image for the Ben app. And then in the uh, Docker Compose, we are creating those services. So the Presidio Analyzer using the latest version of the Microsoft Presidio Analyzer image. Uh, we are passing a name. Um, we are restarting unless stop. So basically, if you restart your server, those containers will uh, also start. Same for Anonymizer and the Presidio API, which is our Ben app. We are using the uh, the created image, uh, and we are using the ports we've set in the .m. So in that case, again, that will be this. We are also using the uh, node m uh, from the uh, .m as well, and that's pretty much it. So to launch this, we have uh, some scripts in the uh, package.json. Most likely, you want to use the start. Start will take care of uh, doing a Docker compose. Uh, and uh, and launch everything. Uh, if you want to just test the app, you can use the uh, app script. Uh, keep in mind that to test the app, obviously you want the uh, analyzer and uh, uh, anonymizer container to be running. 
So here we go. Let's do an npm start. So as you can see, we are now starting uh, the uh, compiler. You can check that everything is running using a Docker uh, PS. That's the case. Uh, because I'm testing this locally uh, in real life production, uh, you want to run this on a server. But for the test, I'm going to do a ngrok uh, HTTP, and that's port 3006. So that's the URL I need for my demo. I will replace that. Again, this is only because I'm testing this locally uh, on your end. You want your server address to be there. Uh, regarding the uh, voiceful project, uh, what you want uh, or what this demo is doing here, we are uh, asking the user to give us uh, some information, so their name, email, and phone number. And as soon as we got all those information, we are going to send that to our anonymized endpoint, and we will uh, debug the results in that text uh, step. So get user info, this is just a set AI step. Welcome the user and ask for its name, email, and phone number. If you don't have all the needed info, ask for the missing one. When you have all the needed info, answer with OK. And we are saving that value to OK. Otherwise, that will be the prompt coming from the set AI, if that makes sense. So for example, here, the first uh, user info value will be Hi, can you give me your name or something like that? So we are showing user info. We have a condition here to check what's the value of user info, actually, if user info is OK. If it's not OK, then we keep going, show the value. That will be the, the response from the set AI. So most likely, again, the uh, LM response asking the user for the information, because or this is the first time, or we have some missing information from, from them and a capture step, capture that information. Then we send that back to the set AI. If we have all the information, user info will be set to OK. Otherwise, we will have another prompt that we will display to the user. So now, let's say we have all the information. User info is OK. We are going to the next uh, set AI step. But in that uh, step, the prompt is different because we are now using memory and prompt. Why memory? Because we want to basically extract all the information we gathered from the previous loop. So all the previous conversation where user were sharing information. And from that memory, we are going to extract uh, a profile of the user. Only return user info without adding anything to your answer. This is just to be sure that we don't have any uh, any stuff like, uh, here, here's your information coming from a previous context, et cetera. We just want to focus on what the user gives us. Uh, and we are mapping that to user info again, so overriding the previous information with just the extracted information. We are uh, doing a JSON stringify, a stringify. This is because you want to be sure to stringify your uh, data before sending that to the endpoint. And the endpoints, this is my ngrok uh, URL and the uh, anonymized endpoint here. Regarding the body, uh, text will be user info and the anonymizer. Uh, in that case, I'm just, uh, I'm not setting any score. Uh, anonymizer will be actually, that's for the demo. Let's set a score and uh, put this to dot 75. Anonymizers, the default, we are going to replace everything with anonymized. And in case of a phone number, we are using a mask. Uh, masking character will be the asterisk um, with uh, eight character masks. And uh, this is from the beginning. OK, the response will be response text. And we are going to map this. Uh, so to give it a try, uh, we should be able to do this here, for example. I'm Nico. Nice. Uh, nice. Ooh. Nice to meet you. We only have a person entity here, so that's the response should get only, uh, oh, failed to parse the field. Yes, of course. Um, this is, again, because here I'm not using the double quote because we are already uh, parsing or stringify the data. So if you want to test that, be sure to add those double quotes. I'm anonymized. Nice to meet you. So it's working. We can see that the, uh, Recognized item 
um, are or is in that case, because we only have one, the entity person. And we've done a replace uh, using the uh, replace operator. And the text is anonymized. So it looks like it's working as expected. Let's give it a full run. Uh, so let's get that prompt. I'm sorry, guys. You don't need to do that here. Uh, welcome, I'm here to assist you. Could you please provide me with your name, email, and phone number? Hi, uh, I'm Nico. So we are still missing some information. The set AI step will keep looping. Hi, Nico, nice to meet you. Could you please provide me with your email and phone number for further assistance? Uh, sure, my email is nico at email.com and my phone number is uh, and all uh, right so now we should have all the information the uh, user info will be set to okay we go over our uh, uh, condition step we have all the information extract the information stringify the data us that get the response name anonymized email anonymized phone number just the end of the phone number um yeah, that's all. Have fun and uh, chat soon. Bye.